right, welcome back guys. So in here, we want to finally create our user's profile. So that's an easy process. We're just going to copy what is here. So I want this content here, just this uh, card right there. So what I will do is right here. Let me, let me go to my uh, sublime text. And as usual, to create a page, we start with the controller. So let me create the controller. Copy, new controller. And this one will be profile, good PHP. So everywhere where it says admin, Let me change that to profile. Yeah, here it's not required. So come back here and this one will be profile.php. Okay, so that's the title. That, 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 I think that's good enough. Extends controller, goody. Okay, so now we need a page to match with that. So let me go to not the admin section, but just eShop in there and create a new file. Save this one, I will call it profile.php. And one important thing now, we need the link to this very part. So let's go to the footer and copy something we had uh, done here. So I will copy this part here. Now, the reason I'm copying this is because I want to have an if statement. We should only see the profile link if somebody is logged in. So let's go to the header. Come back to the website. This is the one right there, account. So let's find account here. Let's do a quick search, account. So right there, I will put my if statement, trip that down, PHP, and if, and say, close that. Uh -huh. So only when we are logged in, should we have that. So let me refresh this. We are logged in. So let's give it a link. So the link obviously will be root without the PHP tags should still work. So root and then our, our page name profile. Okay. So let's refresh and let's click on profile. Boom. There we go. Profile is here. Now, of course, our profile page is empty, so we should include our header and footer. Easy peasy. Let's get that part there. Let's go to profile. Duplicate footer. Easy peasy. So just that and we have our page. Very nice. So we are on the profile page now and we just need to add some content. So for example, I will add a div here and then I will give it a style and say minimum height of uh, 200 pixels. Let's try that. Okay, so that we have some space here. Very good. Now, this is the time we can get our content from the admin page. So let me close those that I do not need. Okay, profile controller, I might. Eshop admin. Yeah, that's the one right there. So what I'm looking for is, let's come back to here for a moment. I'm looking for top user, this part. 
because that's how I I'll know the content right there. So let me find top user. So top user is here and it seems this whole part is his up to there. So I'm just going to copy this. And as you can see, this requires bootstrap. So we have to make sure that bootstrap is there as well. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I will go to my profile inside here. I will paste. So let's see how that will look like. Okay, not very, uh, not very amusing as I'm using as we thought. So that's because obviously bootstrap. Let me put minimum here, 300 pixels, minimum height, so that it's a bit longer like that. So usually what will happen in the account here is that the user will have a table here. I want to put a table as well here so that uh, we, the user can see all the previous transactions they've had or the previous orders they've made because don't forget that this is a website that is selling stuff. So we will need uh, that. So white panel. Uh, what I could do is just some easy, if you don't want to add bootstrap, but uh, maybe we will need bootstrap for the other stuff as well. So what I will do is go to my admin page, uh, admin, the same place where I got this. And because we have absolute paths to font awesome, and bootstrap right here so we can uh, we can use all this link is set okay so let's try and add as minimum as as little as possible let me go to the header let's add this in the header so we can reuse this bootstrap so there's actually bootstrap there. Hmm. So it's already there. So let's come back to. Oh, okay. There we go. So we have bootstrap. We have font awesome. Do we have font awesome here? I'm getting confused. Too many files open here. Okay, so let me close some files just so I can have some free rain here. Okay, so that's the one I'm looking for. So we have Fonto some, we have Bootstrap. We have a bunch of other things here. We don't want to make the website too heavy with too many things. So, so I'm thinking here the reason it's not doing its job is because uh, of the other content within it. So for example, where is the admin here? Admin, admin, admin. I may have closed the admin page. Okay, no worries. Let's just click here, admin index.php. Okay, so the, let me find top user. So this top user is inside another div which is the top div here. So let's just try to find that. So there's a section wrapper here and then there's a section main content. So let me copy this. Let's come to profile and let's paste those babies up there. And so we can come down here and close them as well. So section section so all i need to do is just close that and close that remove these classes and the id okay that didn't change anything and that's probably because um where is this here Why do these things get lost? Okay, so there we go. So that's because uh, some other stylings as well are in play, which are not bootstrap and... So yeah, so it could be any of these. So bootstrap, font or some. So let's uh, try and copy these. 
let me put them inside the header I really don't like too many dependencies that's why I'm very hesitant in adding these here yeah but uh, finally we we get something useful here so top user yeah, that's what we were looking for so let's do a process of elimination here and see what we really do not need so I will move this baby down here let's see what we don't need okay so we don't need any of those guys there let's see if we don't need this one okay uh, oh I actually didn't remove it very well so let me remove these ones that I custom styles for this template okay good so I think we can make do with these two because there's responsive and the actual style I think we will need those okay so this is good the top user and then we are going to see how to now replace the contents of this page right now in the next video